Welcome back, everybody, to No Man's Sky. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, uh, we have two goals. Our first goal is to install and, as much as we can, upgrade the uh, what you call it? This thing. I'm gonna try the pulse spitter out, and at some point, we'll try the blaze javelin too. Um, we're gonna get rid of the bolt caster because I just don't use it that much. Um, so that'll free up actually five slots for us to put in a pulse spitter and um, upgrade it. And we might even just install the blaze javelin too, but we can't really judge how effective it is unless we upgrade it too. Uh, so we're going to do that. Let's see. But our main goal for today, uh, for this episode, is I want to get back to the storyline for a bit. Um, as I've mentioned several times in this series, I want to mix things up. So we'll do some storyline. For a bit and then we'll get back to continuing to improve things uh, on our freighter base here uh, with getting a uh, starting to build a fleet that sort of thing and I have been paying attention to frigates that I've come across I just haven't found anything really good yet uh, so we're holding out for that um, and by the way if you don't know what that means um, really good basically doesn't necessarily mean you know an A class frigate it just means that you want to find a frigate that has only gone on very few expeditions and has at least 20 points in its primary stat. That's that's the general consensus. And uh, because, you know, they'll eventually upgrade uh, or uh, level up rather uh, to S. So it's not really a critical that you get an S off the bat. It's that you get one that you can level up to S. Anyway, um, our current frigate is back from its mission. So as usual, if you don't want to uh, read the log, just fast forward to the next, uh, uh, to when the action starts again. Let's see what, what happened here. Okay, that was um, that was a pretty lame. Oh, wait a minute, hold on. Maybe not so lame. We got um, we got thirty-six thousand units, but ooh, one point seven million. Okay, I take that back. That was not lame at all whatsoever. <laughs> so, that was really good. All right, let's move this into our exosuit and we will sell it. Unfortunately, my thingy's still busted. It's um, I think it's the next day since I did the last episode, and there hasn't been an update to fix that yet, which is very frustrating, but until they fix it, then we can't use it. All right, let's see. So we, let's go to the three-star system nearby, and we're going to uh, sell this space station. Oh, we are we are actually in the three star system right now, and uh, yeah. So you guys saw in the montage there at the beginning of the video that I uh, found finally started finding some frigate mo some salvage frigate modules. Um, unfortunately, I had to resort to pirating. Um, I wasn't I didn't set out to to attack uh, the Viking ships that I did attack, but. When I started coming across them and seeing that they had salvage frigate modules, I sort of kind of couldn't help myself. <laughs> so yeah, but it was a little bit of a dick move. But I'm still in pretty good with the <coughs> excuse me uh, with the Viking in you know in terms of rep, and so I'm not really too worried about it. I'm I'm not going to incessantly uh, attack them or anything like that. And if I do, if and when I do decide, and I probably will, uh, go back out and continue harvesting salvage frigate modules, I'll do it from a pirate system, so at least we don't have to worry about sentinels because they're always a pain in the butt. All right, now, before we leave this station, I want to go over to the multi-tool guy and see if he has any scatter blaster modules because I haven't specifically looked for those before. So he's got... Oh, do we... Okay, hold on. Do we have... All three of the scanner up upgrades. Let's see, what am I looking for? I'm looking for a multi tool. Yeah, 
Yeah, we've got a B, so we could replace this B with this S, which is going to be better, I'm sure. So let's do that. Um, yeah, okay, we'll buy the scanner module. Um, we have a geology cannon. We don't have a neutron cannon yet, but again, that's something that we might try at some point. <laughs> I suppose we could buy the cheapy ones, but I, I, I don't want to do that unless there's just nothing else available. Uh, so let's go ahead and un uh, or package this one and install this one. And oh yeah, look at that. Okay, we are going to make some serious money, you guys, uh, when we start scanning new planets again. Beautiful. Absolutely fantabulous. Okay, so... um. Let's see here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly jump to all the other stations and just check for upgrade modules before we uh, build the scatter blaster. So I'll, I'll just do quick jump cuts. In fact, if I don't find anything significant, I probably won't even show it. So I'll see you guys when I'm finished doing that. Okay, so we've got a S-Class scatter blaster module there. Let's buy it. Um, ooh, we also have an S-Class Plasma Launcher. Um, explosion Radius, Projectile Bounce Potential. What we might be able to do is... Well, I'm going to hold off on that. I don't have a ton of Nanites. I mean, we're doing okay, but... Let's make sure we get the Scatter Blaster set up the way we want it first and then maybe consider a couple of these other things. I also, as, as you guys saw in the montage, well, he's gone. I also um, hired my first pilot uh, for Squadron. The ship was an exotic S-Class, but when I hired it, it dumped it down to an A-Class. I'm not sure why it did that, but that's, I guess that's just the way it works. Uh, but, you know, we, we now have the first of four uh, wingmen, so which is kind of cool. Let's go ahead and go next to this system here. Here's an S-Class Pulse Spitter. Okay, so that covers all the stations. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go back to our freighter and I actually have a bunch of glass uh, to break open and see if we can get a, a, another Pulse Spitter mod out of that. Uh, we could also go to the anomaly and just see what the blueprint item is for that and and get that too. Um, and regarding the, the glass and the sentinels, uh, I also showed in the at the very beginning of the montage that I did a full escalation and uh, took out the walker. I will do that for you guys on camera too. I, I, it was kind of one of those things where I hadn't really planned to do it, but it kind of worked out that way. So I figured I'd at least show the very end of it. And I do know that it also unlocked the Sentinel Tower on that planet, but I wasn't really worried about it at the point at that point because I was doing other things. So we'll we'll do a full ground-based Sentinel escalation uh, on camera. Not not probably not in this episode, but we will we will do that. That is the plan. Okay, so let's go over here, and um, I also have a total of five salvaged. Uh, frigate modules. I did show me getting four of those on camera and then the fifth one I think I got from another freighter that I just I didn't get on camera. So we have a total of five of those. We also have a cargo bulkhead. Um, but let's let's just save those for our next episode that, that we work on the frigate. Um, this is just stuff I need to sell or crack open. So let's go here and um, oh, I have two of these. Okay, so that gives us a photon cannon module and a plasma launcher module. Let's uh, we're gonna we're gonna save the photon cannon. Let's look at this one though. We'll just put it there for a second. Projectile velocity and explosion radius. That's pretty good. So what I'm gonna do is. Um, 
just trying to think how I want to play this one. <laughs> I might take the geology cannon out for now because I have no upgrades for it. I don't use it a lot, but, you know, I also have not... Wait, no, that's not what I want. I also haven't upgraded it yet either, so... Where is... Where's that bonjo we were just going to use? What did I do with it? Oh, I put it here, right, okay. So let's move this. Um, we'll move this up here, and we'll move this over here. There. So that just makes our our plasma launcher uh, probably significantly stronger. Well, maybe not significantly, but a little more anyway. <laughs> cool. Okay. So now let's let's uninstall all of these. All right, and we're going to, I'm going to hang on to these, though. Um, I don't want to get rid of them in case we do decide at some point to go back to the bolt caster. <laughs> Let's hang on to the geology cannon for now. Um, this was the scanner. No, that's a toxic protection. Where was the scanner module? Right here. That will keep in here, too, for now. All right, and then we're going to keep the photon module, but that's a ship item, so that can go there. All right, I think that gets us caught up on everything so far. Now, let's um, let's go to the multi-tool, and I'm just going to install the pulse spitter here. And then we will install the... First S module, and well, I guess that's the only S module we have. Is it? I thought I got two of those. Maybe not. Okay. Now, what I want to do is let's start cracking these open and see what we get from them. Okay, so we got two weapon shards and two exo suit. Uh, upgrades from that. So let's put the wrapping stuff in here. The alien uh, artifact thingies go in here. Okay, now um, let's see. Let's temporarily, let's just see what these are. Okay, that is 23 fuel efficiency and 26 shield strength. Melt that. Okay, what's this one? Okay, there's 21% fuel efficiency and 33 core health. Um, solar panel power. I'm still not exactly sure what solar panel power means on a an exosuit. So if you guys want to enlighten me on that, feel free. Uh, but yeah, I think we're going to go with this one. And then this is the one I just took off, right? Yeah, okay. So let's melt that down for the stuff. All right, what's this? This is... Ooh, this is really good. Oh my goodness, look at that, you guys. Okay, so this gives us health, solar panel, and life support tanks. This has four features, or four thingies. So, let's do this. Let's temporarily uninstall that and move this over to here. Or no, move this down to here, because I want to see which of these I want to put in the overdrive slot. 33 health, 33 or 34 shield. 69 solar and 106 life support. Oh yeah, this is still by far our best mod. So that one will stay in the overdrive slot. Um, so I think what we want to do is replace... Put this one in place of this one. So let's melt this one here. And then, 
Okay, yeah, that was some that was some nice upgrading right there. For sure. Let's try this last one here. 73% life support tanks and 34% shield strength. Um, that's not a bad one. Really good life support tank. But I don't think it's better than than what we already have. Okay, so yeah, let's um let's melt this one. Oh, I guess I didn't have to remove that. Okay, so that takes care of our our shield upgrades. Put that back there. Now let's look at our weapon shards. Do these only work with Bolt casters. Let's go to the anomaly and see what blueprints are available for the pulse spitter. And then what we'll have to do uh, if we want to fully kit it out is I'll probably have to buy some cheaper modules until I can come across something better. Well, let's go to the anomaly first. There should be at least one pulse spitter blueprint that we can buy there. Oh, you know what? Darn it. I forgot. I gotta grab my salvage modules. Alright, I'll be I'll just meet you guys over at the anomaly. Let's quickly sell these two items. We're back in Ezkaz, the three-star system here. Uh, the pearls and the fusion cores and I think that's it okay let's go to the anomaly I haven't done a ton of scanning but uh, let's see if we have something we can send to this guy so we can get some more um, nanites two hundred seventy and we'll turn in any milestones that we've done. Uh, I didn't see what we got. That's weird. Okay. Talk to e Ego, Ego, Lego, my Ego, no Eos actually. <laughs> and we're looking for Pulse Spitter, which is here. Oh, there's actually three more things we can get. Okay, fantastic. So let's. This gives us a clip size. This gives us ricochet. Huh. Okay. Sure, why not? And then this gives us... Oh, it's got like an incendiary effect. That's cool. Okay, we'll take that too. Excellente. All right. I don't think there's anything else we need to do here. So let's head back to the freighter, get this thing kitted out, and then we'll be ready to move on to the next thing. You guys did see in the montage, too, or, or I guess I should say I showed in the montage, that I did check the Nexus missions, but none of the current ones are giving salvaged frigate modules as a reward, so I passed them up for now. Okay, so let's go back to our multi-tool. Uh, we want to install... We're going to need a solar mirror for that. Okay. 
So we'll install this. Okay, next we want to install the ricochet module. We need another solar mirror. And then lastly, we want to install the impact igniter. There we go. Okay, so we have Why is that not doing the bonus thing? Oh, we haven't fully installed it. We need to make a hermetic seal. Glad I noticed that. Four hermetic seals. There we go. Okay, so... It's still not showing as getting a bonus, though. Huh. Yeah, I don't, I'm not sure why that would be. So, why don't we... Why don't we just try it out as it is, but, you know, we will definitely be on the lookout for more... Um, more um, S-Class, uh, or, you know, maybe we'll luck out and find a nice X-Module to make that even better, but uh, that'll, you know, that'll get us started with it anyways. I think this is essentially the Infra Knife, but on your multi-tool, and I, as you guys know now, I, I love the Infra Knife. Absolutely think it's the best thing since sliced bread. Okay, so let's see, reload time. I think I want to switch these guys around. Store that for a second. Uh, because I want to get the bonus of this at least touching one of these. So they complement each other a little bit better. There we go. Okay. Cool. All right, guys, that gets us uh, our pulse spitter upgraded. Looks like we don't quite have full health there. Tell you what we're, we're going to do. I, I don't know exactly, but I, I suspect we're out of time or running out of time in this episode. So why don't we just go, let's go do an, another, oh. I do have another thingy here. Um, wait. Impact igniter. Wait a second. Oh, I forgot to put that back. Okay. A little corn fuse there for a second. Still don't know why that's not getting the bonus, though. Maybe it just doesn't apply. What might be better is to... Move this down here. And put that up there. Okay, I guess I guess that just doesn't do the bonus. So is what it is. That increases clip size. And that increases clip size. So I'm gonna move this one over to here. So the two that do the clip size benefit each other. There we go. All right, very good. So um, anyways, what I was saying is, why don't we just go back down, back to the dead planet and do a full ground escalation and we'll test out the pulse spitter and then we will get back on the the main storyline in the next episode because I don't think we have enough time to start that. In fact, I know we don't have enough time to start that right now. Okay, so let's do this. Let's go to um, Exosuit, and I want to make sure we have lots of unstable plasmas. Um, let's even make a few more. 
because I really like to use... Okay, it looks like that's all we can make for now. I really like to use the... Uh, whatchamacallit? The, the stun thingy, the par paralysis cannon on the Sentinels. It's very, very effective. And it would be nice to actually get that a little more upgraded too, because it doesn't last a long, very long, but it lasts long enough to, to really help in the battles. The problem is, though, is I don't really have enough more uh, enough room in my multi-tool until we get some more slots going to to upgrade that. I think it's just plates that I'm missing. Yeah, you know what? That's cheap. That's cheap and easy. Let's just make. Let's take a, a half a stack of, no, actually, let's just take a full stack of ferrite and just make a bunch more plates so I can, because I, I want to get a full stack of the unstable plasmas. All right, so we're going to go here and we're just going to, no, 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 that's not what I'm going to do. We're going to go here. We're going to go. <laughs> Quit hitting the wrong button. Here, okay. We're just gonna make well we need to make a thousand worth there we go okay now we should be able to get a, maybe a full stack of these or at least get close to it there we go full stack and we still have four to boot okay we're ready are we at max health uh, well, we are now. Okay, let's head over to the dead planet, our, our Gravitino farming planet, and mix it up with the Sentinels. I wonder if the um, Sentinel pillar thingy is still there from my previous fight with them. If it is, then we actually, this isn't going to work because I think they're disabled. I'm not sure how that works. Yeah, it is still there. Man, it's still saying health restored. I must I must have been really down on health. There we go, health and maximum. Okay. Um Alright, well I'll tell you what, let's let's fly to this the pillar. And check it out. I've never actually done these before. But we're supposed to be able to disable the sentinels. Oh, is that not on this planet? Really? So does that apply for the whole system then? I thought it was one per planet. Well, let's go check it out. Oh, you know what? While we're here, we should stop. No, I already did stop at this space station. Never mind. Okay, so. Uh, this is a toxic planet, so we're going to want our toxic protection. Which I have over there. Let's move it over here, though, so it's... Okay, and then we'll make sure it's fully charged, and we're good to go there. We might as well wait for this storm to finish, though. Um, are these guys going to attack me if I get out? Okay, do we have any storm crystals nearby? That one's kind of far away. 216, 288. That one's pretty close. Oh, shoot. Wait a minute. Why am I not protected? Is the storm just that bad? Maybe it's just because it's that bad. <laughs> How'd that get damaged? Oh, I must have been damaged when I was fighting the... the freighters. Well, more like molesting the freighters. Alright, I'll have to fix that later. 
Oh, that's radiation, duh. No wonder it's not working. Okay. <laughs> I couldn't figure out why that wasn't working. I was going to say the storm can't be that bad. Um, Toxic. Here we go. And this one is toxic too. Thermal toxic. I only have two toxic modules. Technology recharge. Okay, now we should be good. Here we go. Oh, it's two. Nice. These things are so valuable. I mean, and you know, that that's actually another really valid way to make a bunch of money in this game is farm storm crystals. That guy's not pissed off at me, is he? Looks like we have a double here. No, a triple. Even better. What's better than a double? A triple! Three ninety-two. That's quite a ways away. That one's not too terribly far away. Sixty-three, two thirty-five, three hundred nine. Let's go for this one. And that's it for the storm. So, how many we get in total? We got 2.1 million worth of storm crystals. Very nice. I'll take it. Okay, let's get back to the ship. We got a thingy here. Get a little bit more uh, navigation data there. Okay, let's do a save point and get more navigation data. And we want to switch to this weapon here. Okay, so I think what we do here is blow that up and then blow this up. Gotta get rid of this little bastard here. Okay, let's switch to shotgun. Oh, reload, come on. And let's switch to paralysis mortar and get it loaded. Okay, we gotta get the healers out of the way first. 
Weapon charge depleted. Reload the damn thing. How come my paralysis mortar is not loading up? Multi-tool paralysis mortar. Oh, can I not? Can I not load that with the reload option? Maybe I can. Okay. Okay, switch to paralysis mortar. There we go. All right, we got his ass out of the way. Let's get the thingy. That'll get us some shields back, too. Nice. Reload. Okay, let's try this. Alright. That's not too bad, considering we still don't have it as maxed out as it could be. any more shields. Where are the other sentinels? I don't see them. It says, oh, it shows over here. Okay, let's switch the shotgun for these guys. I want to get them out of here. Okay, grab that so we can get some shield back. Okay, let's recharge our toxic. Okay. I want to get you out of here and get you out of here. Let's get some shields back. Reload. Okay, it says reinforcements are arriving. Am I just supposed to come over here and do something to, with this? Not, I don't know what I'm supposed to do, guys. Oh! Warning boundary node exposed. Shut down Sentinel forces. Ah, there we go. Nice. Extract weapons technology. Oh, we get a multi-tool. Oh, that's cool. Comes with a geology cannon and a plasma launcher, but we already have all of that stuff. And it's only a B level. Um, with... 12... 27... Um, no, I don't think, uh, I don't think that's, obviously it's not better than what we have, but it's kind of neat that you can get those, though. And as far as I know, there isn't any way to sell extra multi-tools. So there's no point in taking more, because then they're just going to take up our inventory. Okay, imposter detected, override code 4R180 uh, in 3. Manifesting personality protocol, voice of the hive. Arion, routine, protocol, prey, experiment, shell, sentinel. 
Once we had no need for visible manifestation or physical form, our invisible eyes would record, sort, delete the life and death of every world that there ever was or would be. We had no thoughts, no personality, no dreams. Okay. Sucks to be you. Warning boundary note exposed, boundary vulnerable, sentinel extract. Uh, that's just going to give us that same old thing, right? Yeah, okay. All right, we have shut down the Sentinels, ladies and gentlemen. First time I've done that. We've done another, gotten another first here in No Man's Sky. Anything else to do with this thingy? Now, my understanding is they don't stay shut down in uh, permanently, uh, but they do for a period of time, and then they'll come back later. So that was kind of fun. Get all this stuff here. This one right here. Now the pulse spitter, does that does that use the normal ammo? Yes, it does. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. All right, you guys. That is it for this episode. What we're going to do in the next episode is we're going to get right on back into the storyline. And uh, we'll probably just do that right right away. I'm not planning on doing any significant off-camera stuff before then. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share the video. And we will catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.